a dead name is a name of a transgender person, which they now refuse to use because they've moved on to a new name along with their new identity and their new gender. I minister to families every day who have to navigate these dark waters. Their transgender child wants no reminder of who they always were, including their name. Using their real name or dead name is considered offensive. And we see this making its way into the expected social etiquette of society. Using someone's dead name is considered offensive. And in some cases, bullying and harassment. There's been people losing their jobs over using someone's dead name or their actual real name or get kicked out of school and such. And I never want us to use someone's dead name just to bully or belittle them. But it's so bizarre that we've swayed so far from the truth that we can't use someone's real name that's considered offensive or bullying to them or harassment. In this recent interview, Elon Musk shared about his experience having a transgender child. Let's take a look. It, it wasn't explained to me that puberty blockers are actually just sterilization drugs. Um, so, um, anyway, uh, and so I lost my son, essentially. Uh, so, you know, they, uh, they call it dead naming for a reason. Yeah, I, All right, I'm, so they, the reason it's called dead naming is because uh, your son is dead. So my son Xavier is dead, He's killed by the woke mind virus. I'm sorry to hear that. Elon Musk, while not being a Christian, has experienced the devastation that trans ideology has on families. He has a son who he said has a woke mind virus, which we as Christians, we know that as sin. This is deception that's caused by sin. One thing that he said was that he was tricked into signing paperwork, and this is all too common. Parents are at worst tricked and at best manipulated. They're told that puberty blockers are necessary, temporary, and reversible. That is not true. They don't help. They have serious lifelong side effects, and they effectively sterilize a child. That is the truth. When a parent has an adult child who transitions, they are expected not only to be in full support, but to erase any signs that their son or daughter existed, including their name. How tragic. That's why it feels like their child is now dead. And so the word dead name sometimes has feels like it has some truth to it because it feels like this child no longer exists. And so even though they're told that they have to use the child's new name, many parents can't do that because they have a lifetime of memories of their son or daughter. They know who they are. And Christianity is grounded in reality. Uh, Christianity has changed the world because it's true. Philippians 4, 8 says, finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there's any excellence, if there's anything worth of, worthy of praise, think about those things. Transgender ideology is against all of those virtues. It, it's not true. It's not honorable. It's not pure. It's not lovely or it's not commendable. It is doing a grave harm to so many people and leaving entire wave of devastation to individuals and their families. The carnage is real and it's not just for the individuals, it's for our culture and families and society and, uh, and on our kids. And secular people are starting to see the damage and really wake up to it. People need to live in a state of reality and ultimately they need Jesus to transform their hearts. Even though you know, Elon Musk in this video said that his son is essentially dead. We know that he's not dead yet. We know that he's still alive and he can still be transformed, that he can still come to know Jesus and that his life can ultimately be changed, that he can start to live in a sense of reality of who God actually made him to be. We see those stories regularly. We see people's lives being changed as they come to know Jesus. So pray for that. Pray for our culture and pray for our families.